from the black helicopters to reverse engineering spacecraft, there are a lot of hidden secrets within the walls of Area 51. I'm Melissa Mladi, your host, and here are your top 10 dark secrets hidden inside Area 51. In our number 10 spot, we have the black helicopters. Apparently outside of Area 51, people have spotted black helicopters fly in and out of the area. It is said that this is the home to the government's secret helicopters. Dating all the way back to the 1970s, people have reported seeing these black helicopters. There were rumors that they were to do with cattle mutilation, toxic chemical releases over neighborhoods. But most people seem to believe that those are just stories to cover up what they're really doing, flying the reptilian leaders in and out, let's be real. <laughs> in our number 9 spot, we have studying the spacecraft. There have been a few whistleblowers that have worked at Area 51 and these people have stated that the engineers that are working in the testing area are actually reverse engineering alien spaceships. We can assume they are doing this to figure out how the aliens made these shapes and how they fly so fast. Man, that's so trippy. As far back as the 1950s, people have reported seeing unidentified flying objects at the Southern Nevada military base. One of the whistleblowers, named Bob Lazar, has spoken out about this and apparently while working in Area 51, he saw flying saucers that were powered by an element called 115. And that was years before that element was recorded as found by humans. Imagine working on an alien spaceship and coming across a whole Whole new metal that's not from this planet. And I'm sure they've discovered things that I wouldn't even be able to dream about in my wildest dreams. In our number eight spot, we have aliens. Okay, so there is no photographic evidence for this claim, but there have been whistleblowers that have said this to be true. Honestly, though, anyone else thinking what I'm thinking? Are the aliens being held hostage? or are we being held hostage? Let's be real, most likely they're controlling us or, or the aliens are being held hostage by the reptile people that are already here and running mankind. That's it, I'm out. <laughs> Apparently though, Bob Lazar has said that he walked down a hallway at S4 in Area 51 and he saw a small gray extraterrestrial between two men in lab coats through a small window. Apparently he was told by a guard to stop looking and, you know, move along. There have been other sightings of gray creatures in other secret military bases such as the one in Dolce, New Mexico in 1979 by a man by the name of Philip Schneider. So I believe that Bob is telling the truth. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. In our number seven spot, we have weather control. I've heard about this for quite some time and I truly feel like if there's something that I could fully get on board with and believe right away, it's the idea that the government controls the weather. Hear me out. First off, being able to do that would be extremely valuable and honestly, it could make you potentially threatening to your competitors. Don't mess with me, otherwise I will make sure it rains on your country for a full month and all of your crops will suffer. Watch, wars in the future will just be governments messing with each other's weather. <laughs> that would be wild. If we can make objects fly, if we can send messages through empty space through a phenomena that we call the internet, we call Wi-Fi, we could definitely create a few clouds every now and then. We do have proof though that the government has done research projects to modify clouds in the past, but who knows if there was a conclusion to this experiment, let alone if this experiment took place in Area 51. In our number six spot, we have the CIA filings. Apparently, up until 2013, we had no idea that Area 51 even officially existed. In 2005, the National Security Archive at George Washington University filed a Freedom of Information Act about the U-2 spy plane program. And so, in 2013, the CIA was forced to declassify documents that related to Area 51. After this reveal, it became known that the military spent 20 years testing aerial surveillance programs called U-2 and Oxcart. And it also confirmed the existence of Area 51, which the locals would have been able to confirm regardless, but whatever. I could just imagine after the release of this information, all of the locals start connecting the dots about all the missing people in their area and blame it on the aliens. 
I would love to speak to some of the locals and see what they actually think and say. <laughs> that would be fascinating. Anyways, they kept Area 51 a secret for so long that there must be a number of darker secrets within it that we don't know about. You can only assume. In our number five spot, we have the US military base. Author of Area 51, An Uncensored History of America's Top Secret Military Base by Annie Jacobson, has been quoted as saying that, yes, Area 51 is filled with secrets, but these secrets are around creating weapon systems and surveillance platforms that no one can think of, you know, for the US military. Hence the reason it needs to remain a secret so they can one-up their opponent. Annie has gone on to say that if everyone could think of what they were doing, then they wouldn't be doing their job correctly. Apparently Area 51 is the birthplace of what is called ISR intelligence. Why on earth would they not understand most earthly aircraft at this point in time in the world? They are deaf working on reverse engineering alien spacecraft. I believe it. <laughs> in our number four spot, we have secret disappearances. In the area of Area 51, there have been a lot of reportings of disappearances. Some of young people and some are older. It has been reported that these disappearances are tied to Area 51, as some believe it's the aliens within the base that are taking these people. But most likely the actual people of Area 51 are taking these people as test subjects, as there is no sign of them ever again after they disappear. That's what I think at least. Where are they going to and why is it so often within the vicinity of the base? Questions only the insiders would most likely know the answers to. In our number three spot, we have the Nevada Triangle phenomenon. A lot of people are very well aware of the Nevada Triangle phenomena and we're pretty positive that the people of Area 51 would know the dark secrets around it. From Las Vegas to Reno, Reno to Fresno, and Fresno to Las Vegas, there have been many reports of unusual goings on. Similar to the famous Bermuda Triangle, people disappear forever. Planes go missing, aliens have been spotted, claims of magical rocks, and so much more. The area and all its mysteriousness continues to be a complete mystery. Within the area, is the Sierra Mountains, and if you have seen the new Jurassic Park movie, that is where they keep the major dinosaurs. I bet you the dinosaurs are just a front for the truth. That is where they keep the aliens, obviously. Coming up in our number two spot, we have portals to a new dimension. Along with the home base for the reptilian race, people believe that Area 51 actually holds the portal to another dimension, which honestly isn't too far-fetched when you hear about the reportings of the people that have gone near the area in the Sierra Mountains and have disappeared, only to have been teleported to a new area. Yep, these are real reportings from seemingly coherent people. The people inside the Area 51 base would know about this and if strange things like this are happening in this area then I bet you that it is not a coincidence that there's a secret government base right smack in the middle of it. Coincidence? I think not so. In our number one spot today we have time travel. Along with the portal to another dimension theory, there is also a theory that the people of Area 51 are hiding a time travel machine. That's right. We know that scientists in testing facilities around the world have been playing with speeds that are too fast to imagine. So it is possible that something has been invented to travel time. A lot of people say, you know, yes, this is probably possible, especially with the rise of people People claiming that they have time traveled from the future. However, some of their claims have been inaccurate, such as, you know, Donald Trump being the last US president, or that World War III would be in 2015. In any case, if there is a time travel machine, then Area 51 employees would possibly know about it. At least the higher ups would, even if the employees didn't know what they were working on. Thanks so much for watching guys, I'm Melissa Malati, your host. Follow me on Insta and YouTube at Melissa Malati and I will see you next time. I hope that you have a good day. <laughs>